from Utah's first TV station, ABC4 News celebrates 75 years. Hello, I'm Sarah Murphy. Emily Flores has the evening off. Thanks for joining us here for ABC4 News at 6 o'clock. Our top story tonight, Utah is just days away from wrapping up a seven-year mission across the solar system. A spacecraft NASA launched in 2016 is set to land back here in Utah on Sunday. ABC4's Jonathan May has been tracking the mission. He joins us live in studio with more. Jonathan. Sarah, the Beehive Stay is set to receive our country's first ever samples from an asteroid on Sunday. It will land in the Great Salt Lake Desert. NASA says that half a pound of rubble and dust from the asteroid surface will, pro will provide a look into 4.5 billion years ago when the sun and planets were forming. It started when a spacecraft named OSIRIS-REx took to the stars nearly one decade ago to land on the asteroid Bennu. Scientists think that's within 10 million years of our solar system's formation. Bennu's presents date, date composition was already established, meaning this ancient asteroid about the size of the Empire State Building could take us back to the dawn of our solar system. I call these like the grandfather rocks, the ones that really represent our origins and where we came from. And I know they've just been waiting for four and a half billion years to get into that sample return capsule, get down to the Utah desert, safely get to the amazing facility that our colleagues at Johnson Space Center have put together. It's important to note that a major decision will happen just four hours before the capsule enters the Earth's atmosphere, as Mission Control will decide whether to release the capsule or not, a decision based on, cri on cri criteria like human safety and capsule survivability. If not released, scientists could be waiting until 2025 to get their hands on those asteroid samples. Reporting live in studio, Jonathan May, ABC4 News. All right, thank you, Jonathan. A big mission ending Sunday. So time